So we are about two months away from the worldwide release of FIFA 21. Before we get to the worldwide release though, there is a few things that still need to happen. And one of those things is of course the FIFA 21 beta. Today's video is going to be about the beta and how you can be the recipient of a golden email that lets you play this beta. Now this video won't age well if EA does change the beta process this year, but so far I haven't seen any signs of that happening. So it looks like the process will be the same as last year, which means this video should hopefully help you out and get you a beta code if you are lucky. As always, if you do enjoy today's video, remember to leave a thumbs up for me. It always helps when you do that. To get all the latest FIFA 21 news and content, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to get to 200,000 by the end of the year, so please help me out by subscribing today. Today's video is sponsored by OneFootball. OneFootball is the best app to get all the latest football news and live updates. They've got a new and improved app, and they want you to try it out. It's cleaner, simpler, and smarter than ever. Now, this app is the only football app I've got on my phone because it covers everything. So if you want to try it out for yourself, make sure you use my link in the description. You can download it for free. Now when it comes to FIFA betas, these betas are usually closed betas. Now what does that mean? It usually means that you need to be selected or invited by EA to be able to play it. So this is not like those betas where you can go on the PlayStation Store, everyone can download it and everyone can play it. This is going to be a closed thing which means EA will send you an email, you have to be selected by them and you can use that code to download the application for the beta. Now when is this FIFA 21 beta going to begin? Well FIFA 21 is getting delayed by like 10 days or something so it's not going to be released in September it's going to be released in like the first 10 days of October so you got to keep that in mind and I think that the FIFA 21 beta will be delayed a little bit as well to compensate for that usually it comes around the middle of August I think it'll be another like a week or 10 days after that so I'd say towards the end of August Foot Donk also thinks the same he says that the public beta for FIFA 21 will get an announcement date in August and released late August now that is what he believes anyway Emails will be sent out to those who EA randomly picked to participate. Includes foot testing again. So yeah, that's just a little bit of info on the release date. No one knows for sure yet until we get closer to the time. Now what does the beta email look like? Well, it's going to look like something like this. You'll get an email from EA that says, Welcome to the FIFA 21 beta. Congratulations, you've been selected to participate in the FIFA 21 closed beta. Starting, you know, whatever dates they pick. You can play and test the following game modes, FIFA Ultimate Team and Kickoff. You can also test our crew mode and stuff. It's all split, so it depends on what you get. Get started early, preload available now by following the instructions below. So yeah, uh, you'll get the email a few days before it begins, so you can have time to download the application and then get started. It's not all on the same day. So you'll get the emails and the codes, you download the application, and then like a day or two later, the thing will go live where you can start testing out the beta. Now you might be wondering, do I need to be a YouTuber, celebrity or whatever else to get a code? The answer is no. Anyone could get the code if they pass the certain requirements and I'll talk about requirements soon. EA doesn't really care if you're Joe Blow from down the street or Justin Bieber. They will send it to randomly selected people. It's just a random generated system. Now usually some YouTubers and other people you know do end up receiving codes anyway because they pass the requirements that I'm going to talk about soon. And they also play a lot of FIFA, which is probably another requirement as well. But that is all just coincidence. EA doesn't select certain people to get beta codes. It's just a random system. But of course, there's going to be some YouTubers and stuff that end up with a code. Now, even though it is a random selection, there is a few things that do help the cause. So let's talk about some requirements. The biggest requirements are that you have to live in the UK and USA. For the most part, it is not open to other regions like Australia and other continents like that. So if you're outside of the UK, in USA there is a very very slim chance that you will get a beta code even if you played a lot of FIFA so that also eliminates me as well I've never got a beta code and I think it's because I live in Australia so I'm not going to be eligible and obviously it does kill off a lot of other FIFA fans as well who would be interested in testing out the game and providing feedback unfortunately with the location stuff if you're outside of it then it's just bad luck I guess now apparently this is another requirement you have to be 18 years or older I think that's just because you have to own an EA account for this so I think maybe the requirement is 18 years or older, I'm not sure, but I don't know, that's the age requirement that I've read on some websites. You also need an internet connection, pretty obvious one. If you're watching this video, you have an internet connection. No live streaming or gameplay recording allowed. Yeah, this one's a big one because a lot of people do leak gameplay, do put it on YouTube and stuff. EA does take down certain videos that leak stuff. 
But of course, there's a few people that get away with it over time. If you don't care, then you can do it, or you can at least block your name when you post stuff online for it. Now, it's also important that you have an EA account that is opted in for receiving emails. Now, this is one of the most important steps. If you don't do this, then there's no chance you will receive any kind of emails from EA. So this is something that we're gonna go through later in this video as well. And then of course, you need a PS4, Xbox One, which is one of those common sense ones again. Uh, it's not available on PC from what I know based on like the last few years of the betas and stuff. If you have a PS4 or Xbox, you can apply. PC, you're out of luck. Now, a lot of people think that the more you play FIFA 20, the higher your chances are of getting a FIFA 21 beta code. The problem is that has not been entirely proven because you'll see many examples over the years of friends getting codes that never even touch the game while passionate players don't even get invited to the beta. So it's not really proven, so don't think that you have to play a lot to get a beta code. So what is available to test in the FIFA 21 beta? Well, if nothing changes, usually the whole game is available to test, but of course the betas get split up into different game modes. So one person is not going to be able to test the whole game in a beta. They will just get either a crew mode beta, a foot beta, volta beta, or pro clubs beta. Now, I could be wrong, but I think no matter which mode you get for the beta, EA will allow you to play kickoff mode as well. You can see in that email it says ultimate team and kickoff mode was available to test. But anyway, let's move on to one of the most important things you can do, and that is opt in with EA's email system, which will obviously give you a better chance of getting an email with the code in it. So this is very, very important because obviously you need to be opted in to receive emails from EA. I believe if you don't opt in to emails with EA, then there is no chance of you getting a beta code. So this is very, very important. Go to profile.ea.com and sign in with your EA account. And make sure this is the same EA account that you use on FIFA as well on your console. It should take you to this EA My Account page. And uh, a few details have been blanked out for me, but it should be there for you. Now, your date of birth has to be above 18 years old. That was one of the things that I mentioned earlier as well. And I think you can change it, but I'm not 100% sure. And underneath that, it says regional settings. It might help if you switch your residence to United Kingdom. Now, I've done this for many, many years, even though I live in Australia, and it hasn't helped my chances, so maybe it won't help you if you're outside of that, but you've got nothing to lose if you do it anyway, I would suggest you do it. Now this one is also important as well, you have to go to email preferences on the left and then click yes to this section here. So where the arrow points, it says yes, email me about EA's products, news, events and promotions consistent with the EA privacy and cookie policy. Make sure you tick that so you opt in. You hit the update button as well and that should save your preference. Now if this frequency thing comes up, make sure you put any time. So that means you're open to EA sending you emails about anything at any time. And also your primary email will come up there. Uh, you can edit that if you want. And underneath that, it'll have preferred games. Make sure you go down there and you also click on add games and find FIFA. At the moment, FIFA 20 is the thing on the page. So I click that, hit the add button. You hit all those uh, boxes right there, which label all the different parts of a FIFA game. You click on the preferred platforms. Make sure you tick the consoles that you have. PS4 and Xbox One is preferred there. And then you also save that setting. And it could help if you go down to community playtesting as well and join that. I don't know if that does anything. Usually it doesn't, but I don't know. It might help if you join up. I did that as well, but I live in Australia, so I've got no chance of getting the beta anyway. But that's pretty much what you have to do on the EA profile page to get a chance at getting an email with the code. If you don't do that part, then there's no chance because you have to opt in and let EA know that you're open to receiving FIFA emails. Now, another thing that you need to know is that beta codes cannot be shared, sold, or transferred. They're linked to your EA account, so only the person EA sends the code to can redeem it. If you think that you can buy a code and stuff, it's not gonna be possible because they're linked. Every year there's scams on Twitter and stuff, people claiming that they'll sell you a code. Please don't fall for it. And you also can't ask EA staff members on the online chat for a code. They won't be able to get you one as well. So that's pretty much all you need to know there. Let's take a look at some frequently asked questions. Now this was on a page regarding the FIFA 20 beta, but it's going to apply to FIFA 21's beta as well. Can you use the FIFA 20 beta progress in the final game? Of course, the answer is no right there. Whatever you do in the beta does not carry over to the full game. Is the beta database updated? The answer is usually no. The players and ratings used in the closed betas are the same ones of FIFA 20. Will I be asked to do something other than give them feedback? Yes, you can be asked to do other things. 
For the developer, the closed beta is like a big test, so they might ask you to test something out specifically. For example, in Ultimate Team, you'll receive credits, so you can try buying packs. How long does the beta go for? Usually it's about 10 days, but it sometimes can be extended. Now, which platforms will the beta be available for? The test version is exclusive for PS4 and Xbox One. It's not available on PC, old-gen consoles, Nintendo Switch, or mobile platforms. Can I request an invitation to EA? No, you can't. The closed beta has limited space. Not everyone will play it. If you haven't received an invite to play, then you will not play. Game advisors cannot authorize and provide email invites. If you did not receive one, they can't do anything for you. So that is pretty much everything you need to know about the closed beta. But anyway, if you need something else to watch, make sure you check out this FIFA video. Hit the card in the middle. It'll take you straight there. I'll see you next time.